President Nitty, can he play through a concussion from the first sack? What do you think? Is that speculation or is this confirmed? It's been a conspiracy going on. So, speculation. All right. Put it like this, man. You know, I ain't tripping on it, man. Um, whenever you have expectations, I think we talked about this, right? You have expectations, you know. You feel really good about something and it doesn't work out or it doesn't go as you thought it would go. And you're shocked and you're trying to figure out how to make sense of it. All right. So, you can go through the different options. Does he suck? Was it a bad day? Was it Mad Canada? Was it the O line? Was it the Niners defense? Oh, he hit his head in this play. All right, maybe it was a concussion. It's like, man, we could keep going when down the list. When I saw the, the list, video, man. it made sense to me. We can go down the list. Did he miss throws before that? He did. So either way, however y'all want to say it. Yeah. Uh, like, ultimately, I don't think he was concussed yeah. because of how like, we and him about, bro? handled concussions last <laughs> Seriously, year. Seriously, bro. But whenever I saw the video, yeah. I, I mean, he hit his it, head and because it, it he didn't played make bad, me think it was that far fetched. Because he played bad and you saw a video of him hitting his head, you're like, oh, that's got to be it there. Because no, it can't be that he just played bad. It can't be that. I love him too much. I believe it too much. I saw in the pre. It's, it has to be because he hit his head. I get it. I promise I get it, though. I just think that that's internally what we would call as players seeking comfort instead of looking it in the face and saying, hey, I have to be better. I have to step in my throws. I have to trust my eyes and anticipate. I have to do this instead of doing that, acknowledging what you did wrong and to get out here and get better. You lean on an excuse to justify even if we can factually show throws prior to that play that you're specifically talking about where he was still late, throws were low, eyes weren't really trusting him. So it's like you could go that route. I think it was the third play of the game, though. You could. I, it's all good, man. It's all good. You want to go that route, bro? Cool. I'm not. All right. I'm not. I'm not. Because I, I said I don't think he did have a concussion. You thought it was the third play? That play? I thought that was a little bit further in the game, bro. But you got to be right. Unless it said third, I might, I gotta read read it because it you said be third right, something. It might have. Oh. I think it was third play. Okay, you might. I, I could double check, but either, either way, way, I'm with you. I don't think it was right. a concussion because of how you Kenny handled comfort, concussions right. last yeah. year, and also how the team doctors handled his concussions. And the independent neurologist, yeah, yeah. you got they, they all were the, quick on that. Like, bro, think about when he had the second one. Nobody even knew he had the second one. Remember, because he came back. And played multiple series. And then after that, that's when he was like, oh, I ain't feeling right. And took himself out. Right. So he, That's what I mean. He, he either would have taken himself yeah. out or guys would have been on that. Yeah, but you know how I go, man. Like you said, man, a dude doesn't play well. We looking for everything. I saw the hit and, I mean, it, it made me but, think. But how do we transition from? Me think. But think about this, though. Just two days ago, the only reason why he played bad was because of Matt Canada. I never said that. No, you didn't, but the majority did when they were going through their process of, well, who do we, how do I justify this? It was the Canada, Canada, Canada. Now we've transitioned to, it's the concussion, concussion, concussion. You see what we... The concussion makes most sense to me because <laughs> I wasn't blaming it on Canada. I, I just thought Kenny was off, but that that's the reason to me. It's like, that that might be why he was off. Concussion. Sure. Okay, yeah. We'll see. But again, I don't think yeah. it was. I don't. When I first bro. saw the yeah. video, you get what <laughs> Just, I'm saying. Yeah, I'm with you, bro. When I first yeah. saw the video, I was like, "Oh wait, that hit actually happened." <laughs> oh, Kenny good, was off. He played that whole nah. game. It's like, damn. Oh, good, bro. But then I was like, I, I feel like we would have known more about this, or again, this would have been handled different if it was a legit concussion. Obviously. Hopefully he's everything is perfect for him on Monday night. Tomlin so we can shut just it see down. Play better, bro. His press <laughs> like. We will come up with every reason, but just say, bro, he just had a bad day. It was just a bad day. It's not the end of the world, bro. Not, for, I mean, we get that, but I feel like, man, everybody understands that, though, bro. Today's show is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbooks. You know, the number one rated sportsbooking app. Not only are they safe, but they are secure and they are reliable. But the beauty is, when we talk about them, we rock with promo codes because we're people. For the people. That's what we are, all right? We try to, you know, help y'all help us, help everybody else out, all right? And the way we do that is this. When you download the app and you go to make that first deposit, right? Because you're going to have to have a little bit of something in your account so you can get a chance to make some money potentially. When you do that, right, you can put at least a minimum of $5 in. But if you add the promo code MOTES, you will also get an additional $200 
in free bets to go out there and use and have a little bit more fun as well man it's a pretty dope concept all right so that's the promo code you see it right there stop wasting time with it as well but at the same time deke we all ain't got self-control sometimes you or someone you know has a gambling problem maybe they need crisis counseling or even referral services well there's a number and uh, a text number for those specifically living in new york to to use but for everybody else there's a number you could dial and that number is one eight hundred gambler 